what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? The Washington Post agreed on Friday to settle a monster $250 million lawsuit filed by Covington Catholic High School student Nick Sandman over its botched coverage of his 2019 encounter with a Native American elder. Sandman declared the victory in a tweet on his 18th birthday. It's unclear how much the newspaper settled for. On February 19, 2019, he said, I filed a $250 million defamation lawsuit against the Washington Post. Today I turned 18 and the Washington Post settled my lawsuit, he wrote. He went on to thank Todd McMurtry and L. Linwood for their advocacy. Thanks to my family and millions of you who have stood your ground by supporting me. I still have more to do, he continued. It's his second win and a whopping eight hundred million dollar defamation lawsuit against a number of news outlets including the washington post cnn abc cbs nbc the hill etc etc and a cashman sweater this dude suing everybody 250 million dollars and a 275 million dollar lawsuit how much y'all think he got out of each one of those? How much you think he got? I don't think he got a whole lot, but he got more than what he deserved. Now, all of this stemmed from this encounter that they had, that he had, he and his classmates or his schoolmates uh, with uh, these Native Americans who were but they were actually protesting against abortion. So there was at this anti, this was immediately after an anti-abortion protest had taken place. And the narrative spun in the media was that these guys who had these Make America Great Again hats on were antagonizing and threatening the Native Americans and the protesters. When in truth, it was the other way around and that truth came out uh, with support of video evidence later. And it was actually the Native Americans <laughs> who had confronted them. It was the, the Native American uh, elder who had, support, who had uh, confronted them, and it was the other protesters who had confronted them. But still, that much money for, for a damn teenager, for defamation of character, you know it ain't far away from his character anyway. You dig what I'm saying? You know, like, come on, they got on Make America Great Again hats. You understand what I'm saying? Anyway, fam, that is a lot of dough. Now, I suspect that they'll get a fraction of the bread for them to settle that fast. And, and the others are going to settle too. They're going to all settle because now he got heavy evidence. He can, look, these two big giants have already settled with me. You, do you really want to go down that path? In a subsequent tweet, he fired a warning shot at Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey. This kid was really feeling himself. He said, we've settled with Washington Post and CNN. Two down, six to go. Don't hold your breath, Jack. Now, y'all know damn well if this dude was any other ethnicity, ain't no way possible they would be settling with him like this. They'd be taking it all away. Boy, boy, boy. Boy, that skin color something. That's in America. Yeah. I don't care what you say. He wouldn't have got that money if he wasn't white. No more talk. What the talking about? Yeah.